Hi everyone, I'm Roger Henny. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Datum. And I just wanted to take a few moments today to talk about KYC and um, why we have to verify your identity and also verify your residency in order for you to participate in the Datum token sale. Now KYC means know your customer. And this really means that we can um, check the source of the funds by verifying your identity and residency. This is something that is required not just by governments and regulators, but also by banks and large corporations and public bodies that we want to um, acquire as customer for the data network, for this open data trading marketplace. So we debated uh, very long whether we have to do KYC or not, but ultimately, um, if we want to be a legitimate project and be able to interact with, with other partners in the industry, um, this is really necessary um, and it's also um, required by, by the current regulation. Now, um, specifically the KYC process for Datum, we analyzed and evaluated about 10 um, third-party KYC providers and we found that we were not happy with um, the privacy protection that these providers um, um, grant. Essentially, in some of the cases, these providers send your documents halfway around the world to some call center where um, someone is reviewing your documents and then verifying them. And we found that it's not enough protection for this sensitive information. So at Datum, we decided to implement the Know Your Customer process ourselves so that we can be ensured that it's only us who handles these documents and that they're only used for this specific KYC purpose for the Datum token sale. So once you register on our website, um, you can enter your Ethereum wallet and the amount you want to um, contribute. And after that, you will come into the first step of the KYC, which is to verify your identity. Uh, you have various options of documents that you can use here. You can use a nationally recognized passport or your identity card or driver's license. And the second step is to verify your residency. And again, you have multiple different options. Um, you can use a utility bill, you can use a bank statement, or you can use uh, some sort of official government letter that shows your address. Um, now, we understand that not everyone is happy about us doing a KYC and does not agree um, ideologically with doing KYC, especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies where transfers are, are anonymous or at least pseudo-anonymous. Um, however, in order to be a legitimate um, a partner to public bodies or to large companies or even just to our bank, we need to be sure that the, the source of these funds um, in the datum token sale is legitimate. And we, don't, we want to ensure, and the banks also want to ensure, um, that no funds come from illicit sources, that no funds come from people under sanctions, and that no funds come from organizations with terroristic links and so on. And this is actually really important to ensure that um, we, we do these checks and that also protects you as a contributor to the project because if we would not do these checks, these funds may be at risk at some time in the future when regulators come and say, hey, so where are these funds from, right? If the source is illegitimate, it. Maybe they need to be frozen, we need to investigate and so on. So we're really also doing this to protect the project and to protect you as token buyers um, from the possibility that anyone could claim that these funds do not come from uh, legitimate sources.